Chair Pedro, yeah, it's not uncommon to see wild burros in this area of both Riverside and San Bernardino counties. And we're talking, uh, well, when we are talking about problems that they face over here, it's usually because of what you see behind me, the homes, speeding traffic, as well as those animals coming down from the surrounding canyons. But in this case, these animals are starting to show these mysterious symptoms and causing some of them to die. The wild burrows are very treasured, uh, very unique. Come to Ricci Canyon and the odds of crossing paths with a wild burro are almost certain. Hundreds of wild donkeys roam parts of Riverside and San Bernardino counties, but more recently, many have started to show troubling symptoms. Signs of an illness, bubbling mouth, bubbling noses, and some respiratory, respiratory illness. Chad Cheatham is the vice president of Donkeyland, a nonprofit organization nestled in the vast canyons that cross county lines and offer sanctuary to the area's beloved burros. The calls for these sick donkeys coming in from various locations. Why did people call in? It varies. Some were in really bad shape, laying down and wouldn't get up, and some were experiencing some of the symptoms, the runny noses. So far, the organization reporting 17 donkey deaths. They're hoping it's nothing like two years ago when they say hundreds of the animals died due to equine influenza. You know, unfortunately, um, there was a little baby that we had picked up and had transported to the hospital, and upon um, them handing him over to the veterinarian. He died actually in the veterinarian's arms. We feel like it may actually be a, um, a virus due to the accumulation of of, of of the herd or or a congregation of the herd. Two of the deceased donkeys have been sent to a state lab for testing. At least one of them was confirmed to have equine influenza, but Dr. Paul Wan, who has cared for the animals for years, says there could be more to it. They suspect that it is a virus component with a sec secondary bacterial. The more these animals are pushed closer together, the more likely they become exposed. Hmm. So Shelby, is there anything they could do to prevent these animals from getting sick? Well, Pedro, that vet tells me that they try to vaccinate as many burros as they can out here, but sometimes it's just not possible considering how many there are out here and how widespread they are. Now, again, as you heard, two of those dead animals have been sent to state labs and they're testing that right now. I'm told they could have results within a week. Reporting live in Moreno Valley, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. Shelby